Blood typing is a good example to look at two patterns at once, the multiple allele pattern and the codominant pattern. It turns out for blood typing, there are three different alleles. Now this is true for human blood typing. This isn't true for all animals. But there are three different alleles that determine blood type. There's the A allele, which we can write two ways. An I with a capital A as a superscript, or just a big capital, or just a big letter A. We can also write the B allele as an I with a capital B as a superscript, or just a capital letter B. The O allele is kind of interesting. Uh, we write it as a lowercase i, or simply as the letter O. Really, there's not an O protein. O means that it's not A, it's not B. So for someone who has type A blood, they have to inherit two alleles for that type A blood. They can be homozygous for type A, inheriting two tom dominant alleles, or they can be heterozygous for type A, inheriting, inheriting one type, one A allele and one O allele, because it turns out that type A dominates O. The same thing for type B blood. An individual who has type B blood can be homozygous for type B, which we can write like this, or the alternate way, or they can be heterozygous, inheriting one B allele and one O allele. We can write that, of course, two ways. One's not better than the other, it's simply preference. Uh, the type A allele can also be written using the letter O instead of the lowercase i. So um, there's more than one way to write uh, the heterozygous person. Uh, the type O individual, there's only uh, one way you can be type O, and that's if you inherit two recessive alleles, which you can write as two small i's or two letter o's. The type AB person will inherit one A allele, one B allele. They don't cancel each other out. Uh, they're equally dominant. That's why it's called codominance. They're both expressed. So looking at this example, we've got Sandy, who's heterozygous for type B, and Tommy, who has type A bleed blood. So looking at Sandy's genotype, again, she's type B, but since she's heterozygous, that means that she has one B allele and one O allele, because the B dominates O, she shows up as an O person even though she has an O allele. Remember, we can write this two ways. Oops, here we go. We can write this two ways. Uh, Tommy was a type AB blood type. There's only one way to be type AB, and that's you have to inherit one A allele and one B allele. And there's two ways to write that. I prefer to write it without the capital uh, I's and superscripts. Um, it's a little bit easier, so we'll indicate the cross this way. Uh, let me rewrite this because uh, traditionally you write the male genotype first. There we go, there's Tommy, and now here's Sandy. So the cross between these two individuals, their Punnett square would look like this. We write Tommy's alleles across the top, Sandy's on the side. So here's Tommy A allele, Tommy's B, and Sandy's B and O. So filling in our squares, this indicates all of the possible outcomes from a single mating. Looking at our answers, they can have an A child, or an AB child, a B child, right here, 
and the problem asks us to determine the percentage and it's one fourth or 25 percent type B child. Turns out that the only B kid that they would produce would be a heterozygous B, but that's not part of the question. The second question was Sandy and Tommy asks if they can produce a child with type O blood. Um, is that possible? Well, let's look and see. In order for a type O child to result, that means that the genotype would have to be two O alleles. Well, one of them had to come from Tommy. Well, let's write it this way. One of them had to come from, um, oh, let me start over. <laughs> okay. Here's the type O child. There are two O alleles. Uh, this one came from Tommy, keeping the dad on the left side. And this one came from Sandy, mom on the right side. Well, looking back at Tommy, remember he's type AB? That means the only alleles he had to give are type A alleles and type B alleles. Sandy, since she's type BO, um, she can have a B allele to donate or an O allele to donate. Um, that type O child would have had to got their O from Sandy, but uh, type AB couldn't have come, could not have donated a type O. So it is not likely, not probable, that this child would result from Tommy and Sandy.